The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Now throughout this video you're going to hear me referencing the HATCON system. This is a system that has been developed by Hatteras so that everything on the boat can be controlled through either an iPad mini or your smartphone. And when I say everything, I mean everything. From an entertainment aspect, it's the air conditioning, the lights, the TVs. From an operational aspect, the AC systems, the DC systems, the tank monitoring, the fuel transfer, navigation. Now because everything is so controllable through this system, there are two different profiles. One for the guests and one for the captain. The aft deck is probably going to be the first entertainment gathering area that people come on as they enter the 90 through the molded stairways to both port and starboard with stainless steel gates at the top. Seating begins with bench seating forward facing on the aft side of a solid wood table with stylized inlay, teak armrests to both sides and then just ahead, movable deck chairs. Teak decking, natural finish, and this boat has the teak package which includes the stairs leading up to this deck and stairs going up to the flybridge and to the side decks. As we come around to the side, entertainment center that features stereo connectivity, TV connectivity, and lights controllable through the HATCON system. A sink with a removable cover, stainless steel single basin, and down below, refrigerator, ice maker, and storage. And above all of that, we have a drop-down 40-inch flat screen TV. The swim platform is accessed from molded stairs to both port and starboard. There's a fixed portion, four feet, three inches, and then a hydraulic section that comes out another five feet, four inches. And this has an 1,800 pound lift capacity for putting a tender on it. Notice in the center, there are integrated stairs so that as we lower the platform, the stairs come right into play. Just to the starboard side is a hatch over the transom shower. Both corners are six inch pull-up cleats. Well, this is sure to be one of the more popular gathering areas while the boat's underway. This entertainment center starts with a sun pad running six feet, one inch, fore and aft, eight feet, six inches side to side at its maximum, just behind opposing seating to either side of a pedestal table on two fixed pedestals. There's storage underneath the seats, there are courtesy lights down at deck level, and of course there's a stereo that's all controllable through the HATCON system on the iPad minis or your smartphone. And believe me, at night, the courtesy lights here and on the side decks look amazing. Now, probably the most popular entertainment gathering area while we're underway or at the dock is going to be the Flying Bridge. It's accessed from either these stairs from the aft deck or an interior set of stairs. Let's take a look. As an entertainment venue, there's certainly a lot to offer here. Let's start by looking at the back deck first. Now, with this much open real estate, it obviously lends itself for use as a boat deck. That being the case, then a crane will be mounted here so that we can launch the tender from either the stern or to the side. Most people, however, are going to want to use this hydraulic swim platform for launching their tender, and that leaves this wide open space for entertainment. In this case, we have the double wide chaise lounge with tables to both sides, and just to the port hand side, an electric grill, plenty of open counter space. I'd like to see some fiddles around the edge to keep things from sliding off. Three storage compartments underneath, plus, a refrigerator. Now as we continue on to the flying bridge area itself, this is an open flybridge design. Hatteras will also do this in an enclosed flybridge design. Ceilings 6 feet 8 inches overhead. Dining table over on the left hand side. Seats 8. Opposite a couch with two pedestal tables. Teak and stainless steel drink holders. All of this is over a teak deck with a natural finish. As we move forward, the entertainment continues. Plenty of open counter space, a sink down below, refrigerator, ice maker, storage in the center, and then two storage units over to the left-hand side. Plenty of open counter space, and again, I'd like to see raised fiddles on the edge to keep things from sliding off. Directly across and above the dining table is a drop-down 40-inch TV. And fully forward, there's L-shaped seating directly across from the helm, so we have the same visibility as the captain, plus there's footrest, so we have additional comfort. And this, of course, is right next to the interior companionway. Now let's go below to the aft deck. Now moving to the interior, the salon is accessed by dual stainless steel frame sliding glass doors that open electrically at the push of a button. This door will stay open for up to five seconds. After five seconds, it'll start to close automatically. And once it does start to close, if it senses someone in the area, it will open up again automatically so that no one gets trapped inside. And of course, we can override this and open it up all the way, further bringing the interior and exterior together. 
Well, my goodness, what a beautifully laid out salon. And clearly, this is where the Panacera gets its name from, this unbelievable panoramic view. Look at the scenery out these windows, frameless, electrically actuated blinds. As for details, seven foot ceiling, 65 inch flat screen TV connected to an unbelievable surround sound system. For furnishings, sofa to one side, two individual chairs all wrapping around, a table sitting on an area rug which is laid on top of the engineered hardwood floor. Now as for options available, take a look at this. Stainless steel frame sliding glass doors to the port hand side lead out to a flip out balcony. Now in addition to the HATCON controller that we have, there's also a small touch pad just inside every doorway so you can control the functions for that room in particular. Now the layout of this salon lends itself to the open and airy atmosphere of the entire boat itself. It's a single level going all the way forward and to that end of the open and airy feel, we've got this buffet moved over to the port side underneath the floating tread stairway to the flying bridge. This gives us plenty of counter space for buffet serving. Inside, there's storage, an ice maker, a refrigerator, and look at this. Dedicated storage for the glasses. Now, these glasses are leaded crystal and they're part of an allowance package that's built right into the boat when you purchase it. So all of the glasses, all of the flatware, the dishes, it even extends to the safety equipment. Lines, fenders, fire extinguishers, and so on, all provided when you purchase the boat. Now, looking again at the overhead, notice the rosewood trim with the LED lighting and how it's much thicker here in the overhead and carried down all the way to the side bulkhead. This delineates a separation between the salon and the dining area. The dining area takes further advantage of open counter space. The table is custom made for Hatteras. The chairs, leather upholstered by Holly Hunt, and I'm really impressed with underneath, the pedestal is open and beveled. The cover for the table includes covers for the seats that have straps integrated in between the two so that everything stays in place in a seaway. Notice how the rosewood continues overhead with the mirror design treatment that's lighted both below and above. Just ahead, more rosewood and upholstered panels on the bulkhead that separates the dining area from the galley just forward and the companionways to both port and starboard each have their own elements. Let's take a look. To the port side, there's a day head plus a watertight door. And to starboard, we have another watertight door, window, and the stairway to the accommodations level. Now the galley really lends itself to having a professional chef on board because there's a separation of the living spaces and the galley area. And it's all populated with high-end appliances from Miele and Sub-Zero, beginning with the refrigerator and freezer, Miele range hood, a four burner induction cooktop, convection oven just below. We have a microwave at the island and that can be moved over to this space if we choose not to have the espresso machine. The island, stone surface, recessed stainless steel sink, all of the faucets are by Dernbrock throughout the boat and there's plenty of storage solutions that we can see all through this galley area. Now we've gone through three formal dining areas on the boat, the flying bridge, the aft deck and of course the main dining room. So we don't need to be so formal here. Instead, Hatteras went with a breakfast nook that I think is a very warm and inviting area and supplements the galley quite nicely. It's hard not to appreciate the open and airy feature of so much natural light from the side windows, the forward window that yes, I would like to see come down a little bit more for better visibility, but also the signature skylight overhead, a Hatteras feature that we always love and this one is made with smart glass that is dimmable. So now, let's check out the accommodations on the lower deck where we have four staterooms, all with ensuite heads. Now for starters, we have this beautiful atrium that gets a lot of natural light from the companionway itself, leading us right to this service bar where we can have ourselves drink of water in the middle of the night without having to go all the way up to the galley. There's also plenty of storage just above. Now the master stateroom is aft in its full beam. Well, this beautiful master stateroom, full beam, which means we have hull side windows to both port and starboard, including electrically actuated blinds that are controlled as part of the HATCON system that we discussed earlier. There's plenty of storage going all the way around, including underneath the berth, just ahead of the berth, 
55 inch flat screen TV. Now this king size berth is mounted slightly off of the center line and the reason for that is because over to the side here we have these two closets and what could be considered a dressing area. Just ahead, more storage, hull side windows, and this one even includes a vanity. Now just behind the berth is the master head. There are motion detection sensors in the ceiling so when someone walks in, especially at night, low level lighting will come on and the exhaust fan so you never have to enter a dark head. There are his and hers sinks mounted into the stone surface countertop, full mirror just above. The toilet is just beyond and then an enclosed shower. That includes a rain shower head and there's a hull side window that is also made from the smart glass so that we can darken it out. As we come forward down the companionway, guest staterooms are to both port and starboard. They're both en suite. The head and the starboard stateroom is a little bit bigger than the one in the port stateroom because we have the service bar here. However, the staterooms themselves largely mirror images of one another. They both include two single berths that will slide together to form a queen berth. When they do that, there's a night table in the middle that gets covered and another one is revealed to the opposite side. Here's a feature that really impresses me. Just to the port hand side is a utility room with a stacked washer and dryer, plenty of storage on the side for soaps. And finally forward we have the VIP stateroom laid out much like we would expect to see with an island queen size berth, hull side windows to both port and starboard, storage solutions just ahead of the berth, TV mounted to the aft bulkhead, and there's an ensuite head just behind. Well, in my opinion, Hatteras certainly succeeded in making a panoramic vista inside of a beautiful yacht with an open, airy layout, all on a single level. And that is my full features inspection of the 90 Panacera from Hatteras. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.